Hey, what is up guys? My name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses, and in today's episode of Hit the Tone, we talk about the song Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. What's up everybody, my name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses and welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone. And today I'm going to be talking about the song Cashmere by Led Zeppelin, starting with the guitar setup. And I have no idea why it took me so long to cover this song, uh, Led Zeppelin's been obviously super requested in the comment section, and this is probably one of the most iconic riffs of rock and roll, period. That's it. Also, funnily enough, you know, I think I think Jimmy Page is the person who, responsible for the most sales of Gibson Les Pauls and Marshall amplifiers after recording with a Telecaster and two Vox and two Pro Amps. And that's, you know, <laughs> we're not breaking the tradition today. Uh, I'm going to be using everything wrong. You guys are going to correct me in the comment section. I know. That's just the way it sounds. Today, I'm going to be playing this Gibson Les Paul. This is our studio Les Paul. I'll be playing in the bridge position now. Obviously, obviously, Jimmy Page probably made a pact with the devil at some point so that no one would ever know how he got to the sounds that he got. Because honestly, if you ever try playing a Telecaster into a Vox AC30 and sound like Led Zeppelin, <laughs> I don't, I didn't work for me at least. But then again, he used a whole lot of Gibson Les Pauls and Marshall amplifiers on stage. So I think. You know, there's an exception. It's probably one of Jimmy Page's sounds. I'm not saying it's the sound, but this is going to be my guitar for the day. Gibson Les Paul, bridge position. Now let's have a look at our amp and pedal setup. And so we're going in the same direction for the amp. I know it's not the one that was used in the studio, but it's one of Jimmy Page's many amplifiers. I'm going to be playing the Marshall MK2 Studio today, which is a mini plexi sort of thing. Now I know he was using smaller combos in the studio, but usually on stage there were mountains of plexis, modified marshals, you know, whatever whatever the tech could come up with in the 60s to basically keep them alive. So this is uh, this is my amp for the day. I'm going into the Harley Benton uh, 2x12 with V30s. Again, I know it's not really period correct, but I think they bring sort of a focus to the Marshall to an unboosted Marshall, mostly, that is, you know, kind of necessary at this point. And that's it. It's just a Les Paul into a Marshall. The thing is, it's really hard to get to the same levels of grit at a low volume. Now, this is already really loud. Uh, it's definitely gigging level. So at home, I'd recommend maybe running the amp a little bit cleaner and adding a boost in front of it. You want to avoid anything that's too soft clipping, too, too nice sounding, really. So all the Tube Screamers, the Boss OD1s, even the Clon, not so much. But if you have a fuzz or some sort of a treble booster, like a germanium uh, boost in front of the amp, that's definitely the right uh, idea. But as usual, I'll have everything I'm using today as well as a bunch of recommendations in the description box down below. So go check it out if you need some inspiration. But with that said, that is my sound. A, a Les Paul into a Marshall. <laughs> Hard to go wrong with that, I'm super happy with it. So let's go on the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And today, a little bit of a new one. We've never had that tuning uh, on Hit The Tone before, and that is Dadgad. It is an open tuning that's D-A-D-G-A-D -A -A -D from lower to higher string. It has been used quite a bit uh, by Jimmy Page, a lot of artists as well, a lot of acoustic stuff, because it's a fairly nice sounding open tuning. It's got kind of a 
kind of an epic vibe to it. It's like there's a lot of tension in that tuning. But that's the tuning for the day. So all the chord shapes and all the chord positions are going to be sort of new to you if you're not familiar with those and you just go about with standard tunings. But I think it's a pretty good introduction to open tunings as well. These positions are going to be, you're going to be able to use them all along the neck. So I think it's still worth, you know, trying it out. But this is how to play the riff, exactly. So now here's the hard part. I don't think it's super complicated to play. There are two things to keep in mind. If you have small hands, kind of like me, uh, those stretches can be a little bit finicky to get clean because it's hard to just pick that string but to let that uh, D string resonate because you want it to resonate. That's, I think, the first difficulty. If you're not used to doing those kind of, you know, full fret stretches up on the neck like that, that might be a little bit of a problem. The second issue that I see with that riff is obviously related to the fact that it is open tuning and that if you want to, I won't say improvise on it, but maybe develop that riff or try to learn that riff to then come up with your own things, it might be a little bit confusing at first. Now, you can play that riff in standard tuning, sort of, you can approximate it in standard tuning. That being said, I really think it's worth the effort to detune your guitar, try something new because there's nothing quite like an open tuning to push you to figure out new things and new chord shapes, maybe new melodies as well because the tuning is pushing you in a new sort of direction. I think it's just really inspirational. So I highly recommend learning it this way rather than trying to figure it out in standard tuning. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Kashmir by Led Zeppelin. As usual, I hope that video was useful. I hope that maybe you've learned something today. And if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on all the videos that we put out on there. And maybe on your favorite song during Hit The Tone's next episode. Who knows? Just, just let me know in the comments which song you would like me to cover on here and I'll get to you as soon as I can. But in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>